Hey, this is Mark. Um, today I'm going to walk you through working on audio assignment six, which is the project or the song called Santa Fe. So the first thing we need to do, of course, is download the files here. Of course, it's linked in the assignment itself. I've already taken the liberty of downloading the files so that I've already got them on the computer so we can just kind of get up and get started here. So the first thing I'm going to do is open up Adobe Audition so that I can create my project. So here we go, Audition. <clears throat> All right. And so let's see. I'll go take that to Media Browser. We've got here. have my History tab. So everything is looking nice here. So I'm going to create a new multi-track session so I will click on the multi-track editor here boop and it's gonna say hey you need to create a session so I'll just call this Dobson Santa Fe and I'm gonna go ahead and save it to my desktop here because uh, I just want to have the folder easily accessible right now uh, we're not going to apply a template we're going to keep the sample rate at 4800 or excuse me 48k um, and 32-bit float so there's that uh, we'll go ahead and create so okay so we've got everything kind of laid out we've got our timeline and our project window here so really quickly I'm just gonna go down to my desktop to make sure that everything looks good on my desktop and I see I've got the Dobson Santa Fe folder right there with my session file inside it so that is good to go back to audition now I want to bring in the audio files for Santa Fe so I'm going to go to my downloads folder that was where I downloaded them to so we go downloads there is fruition santa fe and i'm using 7-zip so i'm just going to extract the files to fruition santa fe full boop and that takes little to no time so we've got that and now inside the project here I can either right click and import or what I usually do is I just double click in the empty space and that opens up the uh, import dialog as well. Uh, you see I was just working on Caroline and the Pines not too long ago. Uh, so now I'm going to go my desktop folder back to Dobson Santa Fe. Oh no, actually that's where it's going to go to. I need to go to my downloads folder and open up the fruition Santa Fe full. And then this here, and I'm going to go ahead and grab all of the files and open them up. So now we see all of the files here. And the sample rate is 48K, just like the project we'd set up. Uh, we have primarily mono files, but we do have uh, at least one stereo file here. Note two stereo files that I see. One is the snare bottom, interestingly enough and one of them is the overhead microphones on the drums which that totally makes sense okay so now i'm going to grab all of these audio files i'm going to start here and go down to the bottom hold down shift and click there then i'm going to drag this right onto the timeline so there we go and bang so now you see we've got all of our tracks there. We've got a total of 15 tracks. And we are going to uh, rearrange the tracks first. Um, I think I've talked before about how I like to arrange my tracks. I like to set them up in kind of a front to back sort of setting. Uh, where generally the lead vocalist is the front and so I put that on channel one 
Uh, this particular track, we have two backing vocals, so those are going to be on channels two and three. And for channels three and four, I'm going to set that being the two rhythm guitars or the two guitars. As oftentimes on stage, you will have your singers first, then your guitar, and then behind that, you usually have bass and keys, which will put bass and keys on the next two channels, and then we'll throw drums on the remaining channels. And I will arrange the drums a little bit too. Um, so first things first, I'm going to rename all of these tracks and then I'm going to arrange the tracks in the order that I want. So uh, bear with me while I do this. Looks like somehow I missed the bass. Let's kick, kick, kick the rear back row, snare, snare, amp, amp. Keys, vocals, vocals. Ah, bass DI. That's how that one got away from me. So I'm just going to drop that one down here and create a new channel and we'll call that bass. So we actually had 16 channels. All right, now I'm going to move over to the mixer view so we can set up everything in kind of a left to right sort of way. So I'm going to bring the vocals. Like I said, vocals I usually put on one lead vocals. So come on over, guys. There we are. So vocals one. Then I'm going to grab vocals two and three. And I'm going to close this essential sound tab because I don't really need it. Squish that there a little bit. All right, so box two, box three, whoops, and this one, move that back over there. Okay, one, two, three. Uh, then I'm going to grab the electric guitar, throw that right next to the vocals. Then I'm going to go keys and bass. Okay, so we've got drum chamber, which is going to be kind of the reflection sounds of the drums. Uh, we also have a drum room. There we are, drums room. I'm going to move that over towards the end. I want to move on the drum side of things. I'm going to move the kick drum, both of them, the kick in and the kick out, right next to each other. Then I'm going to move the snare right next to the kick because the kick and the snare are generally the ones that you uh, that you pay the most attention to really um, then we've got the floor we've got our overhead mics I'll go ahead and put the overhead mics uh, close to the drum room and everything and so now we have uh, our rack toms and our floor toms so everything is kind of arranged in order now and so from here I'm going to move on to um, assigning buses to everything because I want to group like instruments together. So I'm going to group vocals one, two, and three together. I'm going to group the electric guitars together. I'm going to group the keys and the bass together, and then I'm going to group all of the drums together. Um, and it may seem like I'm making things complicated now, but what I'm really doing is I am going to save a little bit of uh, trouble on the back end when it gets time to do the mix because we are then going to be able to mix each individual group of instruments as opposed to just kind of trying to balance them all against each other. We'll balance the groups against themselves and then we will mix all of the uh, submix groups against each other. 
So uh, what I need to do is I've got to go up here to our output and I'm going to output the vocals to a bus and I'm going to add a bus in stereo and I'm going to call that bus Vox. So that is where all of the vocals are going to go to. And I'm going to take this bus and I'm going to move it all the way down here. All the way down here. Right next to the mix bus. All right. So now I've got Vox 1 that's going to that bus. Now I go here. Bus, Vox for vocal 2. Same for vocal 3. Boom. All right, so the guitars, I'm going to create a new bus for the guitars. So I go to guitars, bus, and I'm going to do add bus again, stereo. Bang. Um, and we are going to rename that GTR. Guitar. All right. And I'm going to move this one all the way down. And I'm going to move it onto the other side of the Vox bus. So we've got Vox and guitar down at the end. So essentially what we're creating here is a virtual 16 by 4 by 2 mixer because I'm going to be creating uh, four submix buses that then go to the stereo out. So 16 source channels, four submix channels, and then stereo out. So, okay, so the other guitarist ended the guitar bus, so I'll go here bus guitar and then I've got keys and bass I'm just going to call that um, low end because that is kind of the lower end of everything so I'm going to go add bus stereo once again and I'll call this well I'll just call it low and then I'm going to move that all the way over to the other side of the everything so there that is okay so I come back to here so keys are going to low I want to send uh, the bass to low as well yeah bang okay so now here we go with the drums <sighs> okay so drums we're gonna go bus add bus stereo once again and bus D, that's kind of appropriate, so we'll call this drums. And once again, I'm gonna grab this and drag this all the way over here. So now we have our buses in order, Vox, guitar, low, and drums. And now all I have to do is take all of the rest of the channels and send them to the drums bus. One last one, bus and drums. Okay, and so now, if we wanted to, we can listen to this really quickly. Uh, and I'll just kind of show the great thing about having everything set up to buses. So um, I guess I want to see the vocals bus, and I want to also see all the vocal channels here. So we're going to hit play really quickly, and uh, you'll kind of hear what uh, what this is all about. Hey, we're Fruition. This song is called Santa Fe, and we're live at Telefunken Studios. I kind of sound like a good Telefunken. <laughs> it does. <laughs> oh, bad words, musicians. <laughs> You see, it only triggers the solo on the three vocal tracks, so now we can mix those against each other. And, it's crystal clear. and just by listening to this, we can hear we've got a little bit of an issue. 
uh, because there is a lot of bleed through from the drums over on the vocal track. So we're going to have to address no that um, when we start working on those. There's quartz in the gravel, there's jasper in but the yard. But we're just looking at the bus system right now. So there are nice little guitars. There's our low end. And there is our drum kit. this off the solo. All right, so that is setting everything up in a virtual 16 by 4 by 2 sort of setup. So when we move on to the next stage, when we actually do some mixing, we'll be able to isolate each individual group. So we'll be able to individually uh, isolate the vocals, we can even solo single vocal tracks so we can uh, hone the EQ on those and all that fun stuff. But we will do that in the very next uh, installment. So this is the end of part one.